Hi, everybody. How are you doing? If you're new here, I highly recommend you hit that subscribe button and the bell down below to not miss a single one of our new lessons. And don't forget, if you like this lesson, please show us some support by hitting that like button. Also, take your fluency to the next level with our lessons. Lesson 9. Kinds of Nouns. Mr. Priestley, in the examples I gave you of the noun in Lesson 5 there were desk, aeroplane, John, London, Italy, happiness, glory, crowd, navy. You perhaps feel that though all these names are similar because they are names of things, nevertheless there are differences. Thus, man and country can be used for all men and all countries. But John and Italy are names of particular persons or places. Man, country, town are common nouns. John, Italy, London are proper nouns. You will note that proper nouns begin with a capital letter. Common nouns, unless they are the beginning of a sentence, do not. Again, words like happiness, whiteness, sweetness are not quite like boy, chalk, sugar. I can see and touch the happy boy, but hardly his happiness. I can put a spoonful of sugar in my tea but not a spoonful of sweetness. I can hold a piece of white chalk in my hand but I can't hold the chalk in one hand and its whiteness in the other. The happiness, sweetness, whiteness have no existence apart from the boy, sugar, chalk, they are qualities of these people or things, they are abstractions and so are called abstract nouns. Finally we have words like crowd, navy, ami, class. They are names of a group or collection of things, of men, ships, students, etc., but are regarded as one, so we speak of a crowd, a navy, an army, etc. These nouns are collective nouns. A collective noun is usually singular, and if we regard the thing that it represents as one whole, we use a singular verb with it. Sometimes, however, we regard the things or people that it represents not as one but as a number of separate people or things, e.g. the football team is singular, playing very well. The singular is used because I am thinking of the team working as one whole together. But after the game is over I say, the football team are plural, having baths and a plural coming back here for tea because now I am thinking of the team as 11 different men having 11 baths and afterwards eating 11 teas. The idea in my mind is a plural one, and so I use a plural verb. Collective nouns. The collective noun for a number of sheep is a flock, dogs is a pack, wolves is a pack, the singular is wolf, soldiers is a company. Soldiers is a regiment. Soldiers is an army. Footballers, etc., is a team. Books is a library. People in church is a congregation. Flowers or keys is a bunch. Flies, or other insects, is a swarm. The singular is fly. Rulers of a country is a government. People chosen to direct some work committee. Men who work a boat or ship is a crew. Cattle, cows, bulls, etc. is a herd. Battleships is a fleet. Battleships is a navy. People is a crowd. People listening to music, a play, etc. is an audience. Teachers of a school, officials, etc. is a staff. Sticks is a bundle. Relations is a family. People of the same origin is a race. Nations under one ruler is an empire. The March of the Nouns Collective, Abstract, Proper, Common Exercises Exercise 1. Pick out the nouns in the following and say what kind each one is. H. M. Stanley finds Dr. Livingston. I pushed back the crowd and passing from the back. 
walked down between the lines of people until I came in front of a group of Africans where stood a white man with the grey beard. I wanted to run to him but I was a coward in the presence of such a crowd, I wanted to put my arms around him, only as he was an Englishman I did not know how he would receive me. So I did what cowardice and foolish pride suggested. I walked up to him and said, Dr. Livingston, I presume. David Livingston, famous religious teacher and explorer, had gone into the heart of unknown Africa, and nothing had been heard of him for three years. Stanley, who himself afterwards became a great explorer but at this time was a newspaper man working for the New York Herald was sent on the seemingly impossible task of finding him. Dr. Livingston, I presume. Exercise 2. In the sentences, a man who is wise has wisdom. When you choose make a good choice, the words wisdom and choice are abstract nouns. Wisdom is formed from or related to the adjective wise. Choice is similarly related to the verb choose. In the same way, to form abstract nouns from each of the following. Adjectives, lonely, bad, beautiful, black, bright, careful, clean, clever, cold, dark, dead, friendly, gay, good, hard, helpful, hungry, kind, noisy, quiet, sleepy, weak, young, absent, high, deep, long, wide, wonderful, hot, glad, anxious, comfortable, happy, easy, true, various, present, courageous, ready, terrified, excited, hopeful, angry, Verbs believe, live, enjoy, oppose, blend, describe. Exercise 3. Give a collective noun for each of the following. 1. A large number of soldiers. 2. People listening to music. 3. A number of cows. 4. A number of sheep. 5. A number of flowers. 6. A number of people in church. 7. 11 men playing football as a body. 8. A number of battleships. 9. A number of sticks. 10. A number of flies. Dear friends, thank you very much for your support, for watching and for liking. I wish you success in learning English. Subscribe to our channel, and good luck!